done prepping the retrofit LED lights here. Um, these are LED single pole or single end um, types. There's two types. There's dual end and there's single end. Your dual end are going to be similar to the fluorescent bulbs that you already have. And that's going to have a negative on one side and the positive on the other side. These single, these single ends have one pin that's going to be negative, one pin that's going to be positive. If you use a dual end light bulb, you can use the same tombstones that are already in the fixture. If you switch to a single end, you're going to need these non-shunted tombstones. The difference is on the shunted ones, both of these terminals are tied together. So you're going to have a positive terminal and a negative terminal. On these non-shunted, one is positive, one is negative for the two pins. These are single ends, so I'm using these non-shunted. I have four pieces of wire cut to about three foot each that I'm going to be using. Two for each one because there's two bulbs. I put black tape on the one that's going to be the hot. The white is going to be the negative. All you're going to do is you're going to, this is 18 gauge wire. You're going to strip it. Strip all four. Take this guy, you're going to shove it right into these terminals. There's two if you wanted to um, daisy chain them. I'm not going to do that, so I'm just going to shove it in there and push it until it clicks. Make sure it doesn't pull out. Then I'm going to take the hot one, which has the black tape on it. That's going to go on this terminal. There's one done. I'm going to do the same for this. So there are the two tombstones ready to be wired into the fixture. Uh, you're going to pop out the old ones in the fixture, put this in, and then you're going to tie both, both hots along with the hot lead from the breaker box, wire not them together, take the two neutrals along with the neutral from the breaker box, wire those together, cut out your ballast, and you're good to go. Your very first step should be to make sure that there's no power on the fixture that you're working with. Get yourself one of these electric probes and touch every single wire and make sure that there is no power on any of the wires before you start. Now that we know it's safe, we can begin to remove the ballast and the wire. The next step is to remove this ballast. You no longer need this when you change it over to LED light bulbs. This is only used for the fluorescent light bulbs to give them some more startup power. And actually this ballast is bad and that is why I'm replacing this light in the first place. I could just get a new ballast and replace that. While I'm doing the work I might as well just change this over to LED. Now you could leave all this wire if you wanted to, but then you'd have to use dual end light bulbs. I'm using single end bulbs, so I have to replace those tombstones and I'm just using new wire while I'm at it.
here I'm putting in those new tombstones that I pre-wired at the beginning of this video. These two wires I'm about to cut are the hot and the neutral coming from the breaker box and these are going to feed your new tombstones. You are going to take your two neutrals, one from each tombstone and tie it into the neutral from the breaker box and you're going to do the same with the two hot wires from the tombstones. After you have all your wires put together, it's a good idea to take your electric probe and make sure you have power where you're supposed to have power and make sure you don't where you don't. And then replace your wire cover, put your light bulbs in, and then test the light, make sure everything works. Now these LED tube bulbs are gonna cost you a bit more than the fluorescent bulbs, but you will save money on electricity and they do last longer. Also, they're much brighter and look much better. And with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching. Bye.